and discoveries that the Quran talks about before there's any real knowledge of these things, right? So it's really miraculous scientific accuracies that the Quran displays. Yes, because okay, got you. Uh, yeah, we find the Quran to be um, what's called preserved, as Allah mm -hmm. said that He will be protecting it in the Quran. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so I could like mention some scientific facts. Okay. Uh, I wrote them down on my notes so I can read them out to you if you want. Uh, Just give me give me one. Okay. okay, one of them. One of them is uh, it talked about the sky's protection, like the, how how the sky plays a role in this earth. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you have like Quran right next to you. You can pull up in Surah Al and um, in Surah Al Anbiya. If you bring up the the Surah, mm -hmm. uh, Quran twenty one thirty two. Mm -hmm. It says a verse, Allah says, and we made the sky a protected ceiling, but they from its sign are turning away. They as in I, I humans. All right. Um, so humans are turning away from the signs. Yeah. And Allah right here, he claims um, he made a sky as a protection ceiling. And uh, if you're wondering what that means, uh, it means like, obviously, without the sky's protection, the what's called the universe the cold space of air will like um uh what's called freeze up the earth you know in less than like a couple of seconds because uh there's cool. you don't yeah. even have to explain it bro you don't even have to explain it okay so yeah. the quran has scientific accuracies in there now so yeah. let me ask you this yeah if there were scientific inaccuracies in the quran would yeah. that disprove it Yes, most definitely. Any anything anything that is not accurate, the Quran mm -hmm. will uh, what's called dispro disprove the Quran because you know mm -hmm. the Quran is like it speaks for itself. Yeah. Okay. So if that's the case, then um, even if you were to show me a bunch of scientific accuracies that the Quran has, if it has even one inaccuracy, then that would prove the whole book false, right? Most, like, yes. or at least not the word of God. Most definitely. Yep. Okay. So I believe that there are a few scientific inaccuracies, some things that it got wrong. A few. Um, yeah, I would say that there's a few. Like, so for example, um, are you familiar with Dul Karnain? Dul Karnain? Mm -hmm. um, his name is found familiar, but can you remind me who he is? You know? he, uh, so he found, so if you go to, I think it's chapter 18. Let me see, chapter 18, verse number, um, let's see. Hmm. What verse is it, guys, about a uh, dual car name? What verse is that? About him finding where the sun sets. I know it's chapter 18. Am I, am I tripping? Let's see. In, um, in the meanwhile, Allah, can I ask you um, if you've like read the Quran? I have. I have. From like cover to cover? Um, I, Not cover to cover. I've read like, if I had to give a percentage of it, I would have to say I've read about 90% of it. Oh, 90. So it's basically almost on. Almost all of it, yeah. Um, um, what's your thoughts of it? I'm about to show you. <laughs> about to show you. Okay, so, so here is in chapter 18, verse. Uh, let's go back a verse. So 86. No, let's go to 85. Oh wait, no. Yep, it's 86. So it's talking about Dil Carnane and his travels, right? And it talks about how, so it says, so he followed away. Well, uh, can, um, can you reference the, the verse? Chapter 18, verse 86. 86. Oh, 86. Is it Surah Al-Kaf? Yes. Okay, yeah. I see it. Okay. Yeah. Chapter 18, verse 86. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so it says here, until when he reached the setting of the sun, and he found it setting in a muddy spring and found he and he found nearby a people 
We said, O Dukarnain, either you shall chastise them or you shall take towards them a way of kindness. So the Quran here says that Dukarnain found the place where the sun sets, and he also found a people near where the sun sets, um, and, and that the sun sets in a muddy spring, a pool of water on earth. Okay. Yeah. Uh I would say that that's an obvious scientific inaccuracy. So he found. So you're saying he found the sun setting on a pool of what? In a in a in a muddy spring, in a pool of, of muddy water. Okay. Um, I'll look through it real quick. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, it's interesting. Muhammad actually comments on this. Like Muhammad reaffirms it. Um, let me see if I can find that hadith. Guys, put that hadith in the uh, chat if you guys remember the number, because I don't. But uh, Muhammad mentions how, you know, where the sun sets and how it sets in muddy water or hot spring. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if I can get it, because I don't, I don't memorize that. Uh, real guys, quick, if, I, if I could read off, um, what's it called, the translation of what's it called, Ibn Kathir. I'm pretty sure you know him. Uh, so was a commentary? Yeah. So he says, until he, until when he reached the setting place of the sun, means he followed a, um, a route until he reached the furthest point that could be reached in the direction of, of the sun setting, which is the west of the earth. As for the idea of his reaching the place in the sky where, where the sun sets, this is something impossible. And the tales told by story, uh, storytellers that he revealed um, um, storytellers that he traveled so far to the west that um, that that the sun sets behind him are not true at all. Most of these stories come from the myths of the people of the book and the fabrication and lies of their heretics. That's interesting. That's uh, interesting that so Ibn Kathir says, well, even though the Quran says that he found the place where the sun sets and it sets in muddy spring. Well, that's impossible. Um, what it really means is that he really traveled really, really far. No, it, no. It's just, the, the meaning is that uh, he saw the sun um, as it as if it were like the setting of the ocean. Like, yeah. Yeah, but that's not what the Quran says. The Quran says that he found the sun setting in a muddy spring. Not that it had this illusion of its setting or anything like that. It says that he found it setting in a muddy spring and also found a people near it. Here, Muhammad backs this up. Let me just show you. So I, I have it on this on the screen here. Oh, the Prophet son like spoke about this. Yeah. Uh huh. So look, this is Sunan Abu Dawud, four zero zero two. Okay. It's great. It's Sahih. It's great. It's Sahih. So it's not daif. It's not weak. It's Sahih. It says, um, narrated Abu Dar. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was Please. writing. Oh, sorry, sorry. Real quick, I want to yeah. say um. You know where you know if you scroll down where it says uh Sahih. Mm -hmm. Um so sunnah.com is like it's not like uh it's not like a website where you like take whether the hadith is uh what's called authentic or not, sahih or da'if. Yeah, they 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 quote the scholars with what they grade them. So it's graded yeah. sahih by Al Albani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying like normally, like for example, uh that website, it's not like uh very reliable because if you go on it and you search and 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 you see like uh, it says greatest sahih you would go on the actual book of, of sheikh al, um, sheikh al albani and he would actually reference it as daif so it would be like it's not very i'm basically saying it's not reliable well that's not what i've seen i've seen that albani it's pretty accurate they're taken straight from his quotes so um if we if we can't trust you know the books of hadith then we really don't have anything to go with you know, it's it's it amazes me, but you know that's that's crazy. But look, so he says, "I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting." He asked, "Do you know where this where this sets?" Right. So Muhammad asked him, "Does he know where this sets?" I replied, "Allah and His Apostle know best." He said, "It sets in a spring of warm water." Him yet. Okay. So 
Muhammad isn't taking this figuratively or whatever, like Ibn Kathir tried to. Muhammad says, no, yeah, it sets in a spring of warm water. Yeah. Which is scientifically impossible. I mean, if I'm if I'm looking towards the beachside and the sun sets, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I and from my point of view, it sets, you know, underneath the ocean, you know, like it that's, doesn't, that's it doesn't say from point of view. But it says like in the hadith, he said it sets in a spring yeah. of warm water. Yeah, he doesn't say it looks like it sets in a spring of warm water. He says it sets in a spring of warm water, just like the Quran says. Interesting. So when we, you know, I understand getting, you know, looking at commentary and getting interpretation of the verses. Obviously, if we're talking about the Quran, the best one who can interpret it is would be Muhammad himself, I would assume. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah so built to him. Yeah. So I, I appeal to Muhammad and he takes it literally. OK. Um, you know, one thing one thing we don't do as Muslims is that we don't look at the Quran. We don't like uh, what's called come with up with um, come up with our own like ideology because you know there's people who are like misguided in Islam the sects. Mm -hmm. uh, what's called Abu Hassan al, um, al Ashari. So they're called the Ashari groups. They use logic. You know, like you don't use logic when it comes to like what's called uh, the Quran and the way it's preserved because it, the translation comes through the Sahaba, the companions, and you can't just use your own intellect find out how this you know says if you have an honest question about this you should refer to the people of knowledge you know is for the whole deen allah said that the uh, islam is complete and if you have uh questions about islam or the ayahs like that you should uh, go to the people who like authentically know like what's called the answers the best person to go to is muhammad yeah he gave, he, he gave us the answer i mean i don't, I don't, I don't need to go anywhere else yeah another thing like another thing is like people look at hadith Right, they look at hadith and they take it too literal. You know, like back then there was a story of three Arab boys. But, 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 let's, like, let's not yeah, let's yeah. not talk about like like no, that's let's talk about what the actual thing is here. Right here, we just read it, we saw it from the Quran and we saw it from Muhammad that the sun sets in a muddy spring. That's that's what we saw. Yeah, we saw we saw like the hadith saying that, but then in the, the Quran, but then. Huh? And the Quran, and, yes. And the Quran. Yeah, yeah, but, but we can't jump to conclusions. What I'm saying. What do you mean we can't jump to conclusions? We're only like, reading. Like for example, there's a hadith that says, "Kill, kill." What's called uh, if you if you come across a, a dog, kill it, right? Mm -hmm. You can't just go around killing dogs. That's not that's not how it works. Because people, bro, uh, Islam is a big concept. There's what's called uh, there's ways to live upon Islam. You don't. So live so, so what I see is is that. The Quran and Muhammad would teach something, and then later on, Muslims will kind of find try to find nuance in what the Quran and what Muhammad says. That's 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 not good, man. I mean, um, are you sure Muhammad said this? Because like, <laughs> what you, I, I can only go, I can only go with the most no no what I mean sources, you know, yeah, logic, logic, logic. What I what I mean is like. <laughs> Are you sure this is what he means by this? Because like, absolutely, out of brother. He he. Look, let me pull it up again. Abu Abu Dar was minding his own business, man. You know what I'm saying? He's minding his own business. He's not even thinking about where the sun sets. Right? Muhammad brings this up. He's the one who brought this up. Like, do you know where the act where this sets? Abu Dar is like, uh. <laughs> No, Allah knows best and his and his apostle know best. And then so Muhammad gives the answer. It sets in a spring of warm water. You know? So like what 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 what, 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 what we doing here, man? What, what are we supposed right. to do with here, dog? All right, all right. So so let's so all right, I'm gonna let you have that. Like let's mm. say let's say he did say that. Okay. Can you tell me like the way like you you would see it as like wrong? Like what, what so obviously I, so obviously the sun does not set on earth or in, yeah. in water, right? Obviously. Um, so what I was, I brought this to contrast your reasoning for why you believe Muhammad is a prophet because of, you know, the scientific accuracies that you find in the Quran. So I'm like, okay, cool. So that would mean that the opposite would mean that he is a false prophet if he has scientific inaccuracies, right. which 
is what we have here. So this would show that he's a false I mean, prophet. I mean, you're saying that this it's it's what we have here. Like it's not really what we have here because what do you mean? Because like like I was saying, like you can't take stuff out of context. We, which we didn't. Yeah, but like you said, um, the sun sets, and and like you're taking it literally. You That's know, what the, Muhammad does. The word, yeah, the word used, uh, what's it called for the sun setting? He, he said that it's, it's sun. Um, it sets in the spring, and it's called ha hamia. Mm -hmm. So whatever hamia is, um, spring of warm water. You gotta look. You gotta look into. You know. No, we don't. We, it tells us right there. Spring of warm water, brother. There's no, there's nothing. I mean, I I've no I have nothing against further research. All right, but I have, we cannot we we cannot as as we're you know critically thinking about this, we can't throw like we can't play dumb. Is basically what I'm saying. We can't play dumb. You know, to try to you know put a bandage or fix what we see clearly is incorrect. We we got to be honest with ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So. All right, can you can you show me another one? Cause you said you have a lot, right? I have a few, but I thought you know one is enough. If if there is one scientific inaccuracy, mm -hmm. then that means Muhammad's a false prophet. Um. So this is what so so reading from this ayah is what you say is like what well, leads to uh the prophet Sasan not being a real prophet because based, you don't understand. On Based on the criteria that you gave me, my brother, remember, you gave me the criteria, scientific accuracies, right, in his time, shows that he's a prophet, that he had miraculous knowledge and revelation. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's the criteria we're going with. So we see when we actually apply that criteria full out, we see that Muhammad fails in a couple of areas, at least, at least one area, which is what we saw just now. Um, are, you, are you educated? Oh, like Islam in general? Yes, I'm a sheikh. Okay. Um, just like, not to like test your pre on blast, but can you tell me like uh, the five pillars real quick? Why? No, because you say like you're a sheikh, you know, you, you know, you, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know like Islam pretty well. Yeah, but what, what, is, what does that have to do with, with there? I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Because once you're like educated and you understand Islam, you could uh, what's called like you know use your reasoning to like either accept it or reject it, right? But okay, if you're so a, if you're a layman, right? Mm -hmm. If you're a guy who does not know, mm -hmm. and you're and you're like just taking stuff out of context, then then that shows like you're not sincere. You're not really trying to look for the truth. Help me out. Yeah. How does me knowing the five pillars negate the fact that Muhammad said in the Quran? say that the sun sets in a spring of warm water how does my knowledge of the five pillars negate that that's what it says okay <laughs> so okay i'm not all right so what you're saying what you're saying hold on, hold on, that. Thank, thanks for the give guys appreciate it <laughs> go so, ahead yeah so i'm saying what you're saying here doesn't really contrast to what islam is you know you can't. Mm. You, you, you what, can't. What do you, what do you mean by that? All right. So how? So so what made you want to pick up the Quran and read that ayah in Surah Kaf? I told you. You don't remember why why I brought this up? Yeah. No. No. I know. But I'm saying like a person getting to this point of going to Surah Kaf and getting to this ayah uh -huh. before him getting to this point, mm -hmm. he would have to be interested in Islam, want to learn about it, right? Yeah. In, in the same way, sure. Yeah. So what, what is that? How, how does my interest? How does my interest change what Muhammad's in the Quran says? Because I'm, I'm telling you, you can't take it out of context because we're laymen. We're not knowledgeable people of Islam. Wait, take, hold, hold on, hold, hold, hold on. on. Yeah, Ali, Ali, just give me just one yeah. second, brother. We are both. You, you say we're laymen, fine, yeah. but we both have brains. We yeah. both can read. Okay. Um. So when we read this, and be honest with me, did I take anything out of context? I mean, yeah, you, you took the word hemi out of context. You said uh, it's because, because um, if you go to like chapter 15, verse 28 in the Quran, um, it says, it says uh, Allah says, I am going to create a man, which is Adam, from dried clay 
an um altered hamia, which is like you know also uh like ham is like a bit of like a mud right but when allah is creating adam is he's not he's not using like how do i say it it's like allah is like he created uh adam alayhi salam not on the dunya you know like not on this earth so you can't say you can't take that one word out of context and just throw away islam as a whole because this is like um you know a big problem that a lot of people how, have how did how but you're saying that i took it out of context you went somewhere else yeah how did i take this out of context what did i take you out said, of context and how you used it literally where you said uh the sun the ayah pertains where the sun says it's did said, i did i use it literally or did muhammad use it literally um can you can you go back to that muhammad verse on the on the hadith real yes. quick all right so muhammad says do you know where this sets i replied allah and his apostle know best he said it sets in a spring of warm water hamia sets in a spring of warm water hamia and you're saying that hamia is on earth I, it doesn't matter where it is it could be on another planet somewhere else i, I don't know but I would say that it is unearthed because, uh, according to the Quran, Dul Karnain, who's a human on Earth, found it. So, so if I tell you logic, if I tell you, you know, using the logic, um, the sun sets in the ocean. Are you gonna let's say like, whoa, it's in the ocean? Well, colloquially, I would think that you are speaking figurative colloquially. Okay. You know, because exactly. we because like, we have an understanding of these things. things. Yeah, that that's if you use you know our intellects you know what i'm saying y yes but but truth. here like, but here i have no reason crazy. to believe that from muhammad because oh. he actually doubles down he doubles down yeah because the quran says that dual Karnain found it like he found it setting in a spring of warm water and then muhammad you know well, doubles you said down and it says yes it it's it, it uh sets in warm water so I we really see that this is on earth yeah. and the sun sets in a spring of warm water bro where so, am i what am i doing wrong i'm just we're just reading it so right now you made a claim you said you said Dul, uh, Dul he found it sets in that's what in the quran water. says not yeah. me the quran can you, said that. Can, can you show me where it says he found it setting dude yeah okay here here's the verse verse so 86 what i read is he, he appeared to him as setting I don't, oh I don't no know. yeah yeah no it doesn't say the word you you speak arabic right no, no, I do not speak Arabic. I'm learning though. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, 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 we can actually go to the Arabic roots and break it down word for word. The word appear as if it's setting. Yeah. That phrase does not show, it does not appear in the Arabic. That's not there. As a matter of fact, if you're reading an English translation that says that, I'm assuming that might be in the brackets. Is that in the brackets? No. Like in parentheses? No. Then that's terrible then because they're just absolutely lying on the Quran because the Quran doesn't say that. So you're saying the Quran says he found so do you yep, know right here though? He you found know? it, he found it setting in a spring, uh, in a muddy spring. That's what it says. It doesn't say it appeared, he found it appearing to set. He found he it, it looked like from his point of view that it said no, it says he found it setting in a muddy spring. Okay, so you um so can you show me like where it says that in like the Arabic in Arabic okay cool yep yeah so break it down right because uh, yeah. I find I find this website a bit like fishy what, what do you want me to use um the word was called uh, he found it yeah what do you want me to use you want me to use oh, Quran, Quran.com all right I'll go to Quran.com Quran.com. Let's go ahead and uh, 1886. Boom. All right. I'm not gonna let people in the comments are just trolls, but what? forget forget them, man. Focus on me and you. Me and you are friends. Forget them, they're haters. All right. I wonder so, if it's here. Setting place. All right. So he reached the setting place of the sun. Uh huh. 
He founded, what does that say? Waj, wajadaha. 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 He found it. Not he appeared to find it or nothing like that. Setting in a spring, ayin, dark mud. Hamiatin. Hamiatin. Uh, from so from what I see is um you're like you're taking stuff like for example the word slumid, right? You know you know what the word summit means in Arabic? What? You know the word slumid? No, I am not understanding. Did you saying. reach did you reach the did you because you said you read like 90% of the Quran? Did you reach yeah, uh, I'm only a, I'm only an English shake though, not a yeah, not yeah. A, yeah, uh, like for example, if you could uh, write um, what's it called uh, in the search bar. Come on, man. Let's not go anywhere. We're right here, man. Let's deal with the point at hand, man. All right. All right. So the word of summit in what's called Arabic, if you translate it to the word English, it has like five different meanings to like explain what it is, you know? Brother, that's not helping you, man. We're both non speak we're, we're both non Arabic speaking people. And guess what? The Arabic speakers on Quran.com shows us exactly what it says. He found it. This isn't me. This our isn't you. These scroll. are the Muslims who translate it. The Arabic speakers. Come on, all right. bro. All right, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down to what? To the English to, translation? Uh, yeah. It depends on what translation we're using. So which one is this? Quran.com. Uh, Quran. The one you no, said. No, Quran. No, Quran.com has many English translation, so what depends on what this Ibn one is. Like, bro, let me show you. Let me show Ibn, you. Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is a commentator, not a translation. So huh? look, is you seeing, are, you, are you seeing on my screen? Yeah. So you see how it says translation? So I can select the translation that it's on. So right now it's on Al Hilali Khan and Khan. These all are right, all different tr English translations that are on the website. All right, all right, all right go to any of them. All right, that's we're, we're on it. Until when he reached the setting place of the sun, he found it setting in a spring of black, muddy or hot water. You, okay, so there's no way around this, man. Um. All right. So from like, Lodge, I want to ask you a quick question. Um, from as long as it's on the subject. Yeah. No. No. I know. I'm not running away from subject. I'm. I'm saying like, from your channel. I see a lot of live streams, right? Of you like trying to debunk Islam and all that. Quick question: Like, are you like sincerely trying to like look for the truth, like salvation, all that, or like? I already have the truth, bro. I'm trying to get you into the truth too. What we is can't it? Get, we can't get the truth if we're not honest with ourselves. So, do you see how, according to the Quran and Muhammad and the Arabic speakers, it's clear as day that the Quran says that Dul Karnain unearthed found the sun setting in a muddy in muddy water we we see that it says that right and we're not taking it out of con it, that's what it says right yeah. from from my understanding when i read that i see it as though he found it like 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 find like he found it setting on the spring of a black muddy or hot water right same thing as the person says i found the sun setting like the ocean i find like the same way same reference okay no worries um you know, it, it, it is what it is. There's nothing I could do from this point because, you know, if we're not going to have be honest with each other, then, uh, you know, there's there's nothing more I can do. But I, I try. So, you know, um, but I would encourage you to continue to look into this, man. Come back uh, another time and, and we'll talk again. All right. That's on me. I would encourage you guys to like, sincerely open your heart. I hope you open your heart, too, bro. Yep. All right. Peace. All right. See you. All right.